asking my viewers for help. Let's have a look. Good evening, everyone. Florian here, and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your shine of coffee, because I want to ask you all for help. I want to ask a favor of my viewers. Now, I have just today received an email from the Australian Building Codes Board, and I applied to gain access to their well, courses and materials for professional development to help develop resources to do your your CPD, your continued professional development. Now, a lot of people in the construction industry need to be up to date with changes in the building code. Some of us, like architects, engineers, we got to we have to do CPD. You have to do courses on a variety of things just to keep yourself up to speed. Now, there's a variety of things you can you can do to get your CPD. Reviewing the building code and legislative changes, I think, is the most important. That's that's something we should all do. I'll do another video going through some of the competencies that have changed for architects, and, and you'll be a bit a bit shocked at what's in, what's in there and what isn't in there. But this is important. So I, I thought, you know, I'd apply to this, and Rachel and I came up with the idea of developing it uh, for the channel and giving it away for free. I mean, we're, we're not meant to um, steal their information. We've got access to it, and we can present it in a particular format. But what I want to do is to make it usable CPD, you need to have an accessible component to it. So you'll need to you know, watch the content and either do a test or a quiz or something to show that you've learned from this. And this is where I want to ask your help. I want suggestions and uh, advice from viewers of how we could make that happen, how we, you know, we could run some videos, we could create the content, edit it all up on YouTube, refer to what we've got from the building code, splice in other diagrams and explanatory material we make to to help make it understandable, and then create a quiz or a test that people can do so they can watch this, do it all for free, and get a certificate and get some real formal CPD points or, it's or enough that they could argue that it's a rigorous process, that they've they've learned something. They've done an exam and they've got a result. Now, these are not big things. These are like half an hour little things, but it adds up and it's really important. And I think it should be free. Honestly, I think all CPD should be free. Any Anything to do with the Australian standards and the construction industry should all be free anyway. What really pisses me off is that you've got all these standards that are called up in the building code, or sorry, the National Construction Code, and <clears throat> the Building Act refers to the National Construction Code. So the standards that are referred to in the building, in the National Construction Code, are essentially law because they're refer it's one step down from the Act. So that means <clears throat> to comply with the law, to know what you have to comply with, you have to pay money to buy the documents which are essentially law. Now that's frustrating. And I'm very, very happy that a coalition government got the building code for free at least that's the first step we need to get the standards for free not not i mean not go to the library and photocopy them and like some bloody neanderthal it should be all available public domain but that's a another topic i think if we can use the the resources that we've been given the permission we've received to develop some tools that can allow people to get up to speed with the changes to the building code or the National Construction Code, because it's not, it includes the pump, plumbing as well. The NCC has got all the different bits under it. And get a little certificate, I'd be really happy. So that's why I thought I would just ask the viewers, we've got a range of people, a whole lot of people in the construction industry, a whole lot of people in, interested in it, and a whole lot of people with IT skills. I mean, would, would you do it with Google Forms, or how would you do it? And Rather than look into it myself, I thought I'd put this video out. <laughs> Honestly, the last few weeks, you may have noticed that I haven't been releasing as many videos as normal, have been flat out for me. I just got a project out for a mate. I was helping helping him finish up a job, and it turned into a lot more work than I anticipated. But, you know, you, you got to do it. you got to help out a friend. And I'm a bit tired. So that's the only video for tonight, and that's why I haven't been putting out as much. But I thought, why not ask you guys? I bet you someone will have an answer. If, if you have any suggestions, please 
drop them in the comments or even better, email them to me. You, my email is florian.heiser at heiser.com.au. You can find it on the, on the Google, YouTube, about thing for the channel there, or you can just write it down. But yeah, anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Short and sweet. I'd love to hear your suggestions and we'll find a way to turn this into something that people can learn from but also meet some professional development requirements that they have to have. There has to be a way we could make this, make it so they could maybe they have to sign in, do the videos and get a certificate. Even if I have to set it up on my WordPress or something, we could, we could find a way to do it. So I'd love to hear your suggestions. Have a great night, everyone. And well, we'll see what the interest rate holds tomorrow. I'll put a poll up and we'll, uh, we'll check on that later. Take care, guys. Check out my other channels. Heiser be more, Heiser does. And there's the question, where would I put this content? I've got my old Heiser Education channel, the first YouTube channel I ever started. Would it be something for there or would it be more appropriate to put here on Heiser Says because we'll get a bigger audience? Anyway, that, that's one to think about. If you want to support the channel, there are a few ways you can on YouTube or Patreon, using our referral links, buying our pocket squares or calling us if you need an architect. Take care, have a great evening and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.